Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture, and let's fucking talk about Carly Rae Jemsen's dedicated album. Oh my god, it's so good. Now, it's interesting because I thought, I wasn't really sure exactly what's going to happen with the whole, like, coming after Emotion. Emotion was, it was a, will be, will always go down till, from then on as the, one of the iconic albums, like, it's it's an iconic album, so I was very nervous to know that when she came out with Party with One or Party for One, it was cute, but it wasn't hitting it directly, and I was just very nervous to see if it's good, this whole album is going to be a flop compared to what it, compared to after coming after um, Emotion because it was just like in my head I was like oh god it could be bad, but this has been a real this is a really good album the whole almost all the songs on the albums is, yeah, I think, I want to say all the songs are pretty much a, a bop to me. Like, I don't think I skipped too much songs, but there's, or, I don't think I skipped, maybe like one song I maybe skipped, but like, even then, that song, if it's like playing, I wouldn't turn it off. Um, but the whole song, the whole album's really good, so in this video, we're going to go through every song, um, find out the meaning, and also just kind of talk, and I'll just to describe, like, why I like the song, or what it, what I feel about each song. So, let's get started. So, number one is Julian, which is, by the way, it's a long time since I heard the name Julian. It's, uh, who has the name Julian anymore now? Like, not, it's a great name, I just never heard anybody sing it, or have that voice, um, that name. Julian is really good. Ju Julian is cute, as lower, it took me a while to get into it, because I had to take, it, it's, has it has it starts off pretty mellow and then it gets it gets better as over time and I feel like the more you hear it, the more you're into it. Um, this song is pretty much a summer bop. The whole album's a summer bop. I'm so glad it came out in May because now it's gonna be a complete. It's gonna go throughout the whole summer. It's gonna be a complete bop. Um, this song is pretty much about a weekend with her ex and this person that she really like. After that weekend, she's only been thinking about him. Um, so this is, a, this is a perfect beginning of an album, perfect bop, perfect summer bop, and it just like, it pretty much gives you the mood of what's going to happen. Like it sounds like a lot of the songs that she does has a little more, has a little more maturity to it with the same, with that also has more, um, it still gives you more than what you're looking for, but still has that kind like that Carly Ray like stank on it, you know? Uh, number two is, is no drug like me. Uh, it's okay. So this song has actually took me a while to grow into as well. It was her third se uh, single, and but I do love the melody, like the da 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 da. Like I like I like I don't know why, but I like that how that that goes. Um, I this song's pretty much about being. She's saying like, if you are vulnerable with me, I'll be vulnerable with you. Like I'll precip I'll reciprocate the the act back to you. Um. Which is like, if you, oh, it's, I have a lyric right here. It's like, if you, if you make me fall in love, then I'll blossom for you. So, um, yeah, so, uh, I just love, I, it's just so catchy. Anyway, good song, great song. Uh, number three is Now That I Found You. It's one of, it's another single during, that came out around the time that No Drug Like Me did. Um, this one actually was pretty cute. I love the music video, the little cat's music video was kind of cute. Um... I love this song. It's pretty catchy. It's it's pretty much reminds me of it reminds me of a B side of of emotion kind of thing, which is good. Like I love the B side album that came out with emotion. So it's just like it's it's I feel like it it, it belonged in that area. Um, I did like the fact that it was apparently it was supposed to be featured on Queer's Folk for season three. I haven't watched season three or Queer Eye for season three. I haven't watched it yet. But, um, I do like this song. Uh, number four is, this is the first, now this is the first song we get into that actually has, wasn't, has not been a single, is What You Are, or uh, What You In My Room. This is actually fun, it's a really fun song. I was actually, I was very impressed in the sound of it. It just sounds like it's, to me it sounds completely just fun. The whole thing's fun. She sing talks and her verses and, and parts of it, but it just, the, the, like energy that she brings to the song is so fun, and it's very catchy, and I love the, um, I don't know what it's called, but the robotic sound of I Want You In My Room, which just took me a minute to actually set down and actually hear what it actually is saying, but 
I love this song. It's very, it's very playful. It's cute. Um, number five is um, Everything He Needs. One of my favorite songs um, of this album. I love the piano, um, the piano rhythm that goes that goes through it. I love it. It's very chill. It's it's pretty much. This reminds me of something you can kind of listen to, and the like listen to like like floating on a floaty in the middle uh, in your pool or something like that. And you're just like have a nice little like cocktail with you in the summer. It's hot, but it's like you're just relaxing in the pool. It sounds like that. It sounds very chill and sunny. Like that's the vibe I get from it. And from what I understood is that it samples um, "He Needs Me" from the soundtrack of the '90s or 1980 film um, Popeye with um, Robin Williams. I keep saying Robbie Williams in my head, but I gotta remember they're different people. Um, so yeah, so I really, I really, 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 really love this song, and I had to look up the original song, um, sampling, that I understand the reason, uh, understand her reasoning for sampling the song, but I really love it. Um, number six is Happy Not Knowing. Happy Not Knowing is the one that's kind of like in and out with me, like this is, a, this is what I was talking about, like, if it's on, I'm not gonna, I don't, I tend, intend to skip it, but sometimes if I'm looking for direct songs, it's not one of the direct songs I'm looking for. Um, this is very catchy. It's an 80s sound, which just gives you a very, very, very um, emotion sound. Um, she's pretty much saying, I'm happy not knowing. I'm happy not knowing what's going on with going with our relationship, like what with our relationship, what's going on with like him crushing on her or if he even if he even is crushing on her so it's just like it's that type of thought that like oh i'm crushing like i don't want to know because i'm not really ready for this relationship or what could come with this i kind of like where it is right now so i like that um number seven is i'm i'll be your girl which is one of my favorite songs another favorite of the album um i love the uh guitar uh, the bass guitar riff that's going throughout the whole song and um I love the production, it's kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of like ska in a way, like with the trumpets and everything. It's very, like, it kind of just reminds me a lot of ska, which I wonder if that's the idea. Because it's giving me that ska meets reggae kind of vibe. Um, and this song's pretty much about how she wants a guy that's unavailable, it's with some, like, another person. And she's pretty much has been, like, going for him since day one. Um, Number eight is Too Much, which is the fifth single. Um, this one's actually a fun, so uh, fun song. It's one of those ones where it's very more relaxed, um, has a great, great synthy back backing to it. This is kind of interesting. Um, I feel uh, this song is pretty much has a, also has a, like, a very, like, a light, airy vocal with it, which is kind of cool, which is, I think, it's funny because it usually, Hearing it, it kind of gives me kind of like, it's like, uh, airy vocals, which means you can't hit those notes, so you're kind of like falsetting yourself up, or you're breathing yourself up, so you doesn't really have to try hard with your vocals, but it doesn't seem like she's doing that. I think she's doing that on purpose for, like, to match the sound of the song. So yeah, so I really like this, I like the song for like the chill, like, feel of it, but I feel like the, it's pretty much the airy sound of the vocals, is, is, I honestly feel like it's very purposeful for the, for the relaxed sing sound of the song. The music video I just watched recently, it's really cute, it's just a shit ton of, um, Carly Rae Jimson's or like people dressed up in her like costume and her look, which is cute. Um, number nine is... Oh, sorry, sorry, I gotta do this, do, do, redo. Number nine is actually the sound. Um, so the sound is actually one that actually doesn't really, one that I don't really go for directly, but I do like the sound of the song. I do feel like the lyrics is a little lacky in the chorus, um, but I do love the, um, the kind of muted piano in the background. It's kind of cool. I also love the, like, flow, flowy sound that kind of goes through the whole song. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, that's pretty much how I feel about the song. It's like, it's, the, the hook is not that great with the sound, 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 sound. They're just like, I get it, but, like, the whole umbrella of it is cute. Uh, number 10 is Automatically in Love. Um, I love the hi-hat in this song. I think it's kind of cool. Um, 
I also lo- I like the sound of the like that it's just it sounds the song is just really really cute. It's just a really cute song in that type of in its general sense. It's pretty much talking about how they were, um, um, they just, like, she met somebody that automatically had, like, chemistry and everything just kind of fell into place. Um, I love the one lyrics when she says, I have makeup just, I wake up just dreaming kind of thing, which is kind of cute. Uh, number 11 is Feels Right, one of my favorite songs. I think is my favorite song on it so far. Um, so, like, my fa- my, the bet, like, my top favorite song. Um, so I love the, I love the piano chords in the beginning, that dun, 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 dun. I don't know why, but it's very infectious. So the minute when the beat comes in, like, you're just, ah, it's great. It's a really great song. Um, I think it's very catchy. I love the, um, the assist of vocals that come in with the chorus, uh, with the uh, Aza uh, Tacon. Takon Asa Takon, which is, he is the person, he is the voice from Electric Guests. Um, but yeah, I love his voice into this, which is interesting. I didn't think that he would just show up to this. Um, I, yeah, I really love the song. I really, I love the assist of vocals with it. It's just, it's a really good feel-good song, and I really like it. Um, and I love her belting that, like, full voice in the chorus, because I feel like she kind of just, just, she goes in full chorus when they're like, now that I found you, part. Um, so, that, yeah, so I, I really love it. Number 12, I think I got it right. I might be off. Um, the next song is, um, oh, I think I have, yeah, so sorry, I had it, I kind of had it in, bad order right now so i think it, i think this is actually number 11 is uh right worlds wrong, right words wrong time um this song is actually interesting it's pretty much about this guy who wasn't ready for her so she kind of just and so she kind of just like started real like connect connecting with like finally getting coming to terms with that feeling that he wasn't ready for her and then right when she finally does get over the whole situation, he kind of comes. He comes back around, and he's like, "Okay, I do know what I want, and I do want you." Blah blah blah. And so it's kind of interesting that she's pretty much saying like wrong, right words, wrong time. Like, just like you, what what she wanted to hear was right. Was what he what he gave her was what wanted to say was right. But now that she's over the whole thing, she actually wants to look somebody that's not fickle about how he feels about the whole thing. So I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's a, I am, um, it's kind of the song, the production sounds very like, very lightly sounds like issues by, uh, what's her name? Uh, Julia Michaels, Julia Michaels. Yeah. She sounds, it sounds, sound like that in a weird way. If you go near the end of it, like, kind of, like, I want to say, if, yeah, where, where it starts to slowly fade out. If you listen to, like, the, where everything kind of is, all the production's kind of leveling out, you can kind of hear issues in a way. It's, I don't know why, but it kind of sounds like that one. And the next song is, uh, Real Love. This song's really cute. It's, um, I love the, I love the weird, well, first of all, it starts off with not, with minimal production, and then it finally breaks into, like, like after the post uh, post chorus, it turns into like horns, I guess. Which I love the pickup of the after the post post credits credit or post post um, ah post chorus. Sorry. Uh, so yeah. So I like I like the pickup with the production after that, and I feel like I hear horns and kind of thing. I, it could be horns. It could be just a sound, but that's why it sounds like horns to me. Um, number three, 13 is, uh, for sure, one of my favorite songs, and there's a huge difference, there's a huge reason for why. First of all, I love the clapping kind of rhythm that goes through the whole thing. It's really infectious, it's really, like, infectious, it's very, like, everybody's, like, it sounds really good. Um, I love the da-da-da-da, 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 like, I like that part, too. I think that... I honestly think that the whole, 
the whole song is really great, but I love, I love how, like, the more you go through it, the, like, the, I've been thinking, and it goes over, and, like, she'll say that over and over, and the production just adds and adds and adds and adds, and you think, and you think there's going to be a huge drop in the middle of it, like, she's going to fake it with, she's going to give you, a, like, a Monet, where she kind of fakes it for a minute, she's like, is it going to be a drop? It's not, and you're like, okay, get it, it's cute, like, like you're definitely, it got us fooled. And then she does her second chorus, and then she goes, I've been thinking, and she goes, 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 and you think, like, oh my god, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, and it doesn't come. But, at the same time, what comes instead is a more pronounced, like, African sound that comes through, like, which is, I really, really like that, I really, really like the, I will take that for now, but I definitely, I'm definitely expecting, like, I'm expecting a definitely a remix coming from this song. It, it has to. There's no way that you have that climb, and no one, uh, no one, and no DJ has ever, that no DJ was thinking, like, oh, I can add some, I can add a huge explosion to that, like, that climb. It's a really good song. It's catchy. Um, I really, um... I, I just really, I really love, I really love the sound. I love the, I love actually how it ended because it's very smooth and cute. So I love that sound. Um, but there's definitely going to be a remix. So it's definitely going to be a remix. It's going to give you a huge explosion at the end or in the middle of it. It's going to happen. And finally, number 14 is um, uh, Party for One, which is the first single. Um, the song's about soft love. And I think I, I did like, I, the song is... Like, every single first single song of Carly Rae Jemsen is always catchy, and and pretty much is a really good song. It's pretty much talking about how, like, it's self-love, doing her own thing. Um, there's You don't want to party, or you don't want to be with me, so it's fine. I just gotta do focus on me then kind of thing, which I thought was really cute. Um, so yeah, so that is it. That is the whole Carly Rae Jemsen um, a dedicated album. I really, really love it. I feel like it met, it, it met the hype. It met to the hype. I feel like it also met the group, uh, like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like it's better than Emotions. I feel like they're two separate albums, but I feel like be after, this is a great album coming after Emotions, if that's a better way of explaining it. Like, it's not, it's, it's not worse. It's not better. It's perfect. It's a perfect continuation. Next chat. It's a perfect chapter to the next to her next for be, coming after emotions. So leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. If you liked it. If you didn't like it. If you did. If you didn't agree that it didn't meet up to expect expectation after um, emotion. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and um, hit the like button too if you like it. And I hope everybody has a great week, weekday, and week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.